Hello and welcome back to the Devout Joystick. And this episode is hey, number yeah. seven. I was thinking about heading we down left the off home. dying uh, at no this infestation me. camp. Boozer. But we're no, going to try to take no, care of it so this killed. time. Uh, thanks, Dick. Alright, so last time I tried to take care of Use this. everything at once and I ran out of materials and heals. And that is Deacon something Saint that John, we this cannot is deal with. Like I said before, I haven't so, seen Boozer Sweet Face around these last one few days. Molotov cocktail. You sure he's all right? This is we got another Boozer beer bottle mine, there. Like I said, he's just been busy. Doing runs for that son and of a bitch, a Mark Copeland. Down right here. I get the feeling so he can also like light on fire. That I just right. So, like if you I like said, videos like this and you're lady. up to date on the series, please leave a comment on what part was your favorite thus far, and we will go deeper into the story. Let me see if I can fill up. This real oh, fast, because you always need to have God. a full gas can in your bike before you do anything else. So the excuse of me not having another episode in the series up to this point, I've been pretty tied up with school and also being a part of a journalist page uh, uh, called GamingRealm.com, and it is yeah, it looks like the kind of place a you want to really call. good team of people. That. Ooh. Just got this. Light it up. There we go. A good team of people that I know personally, and we have been making articles left and right, and we're looking forward to getting the E3, and that is the goal. And it'll also look good among the resume. And I can say I work for one of the biggest journalist sites ever. Because that's what we're going to. We're on the road to greatness. Um, and this this girl right here is really trying to, trying to die too much. Last time on that animation, I was not able to finish one, but that time I did. I like the knife. And I just did an article talking about how Days Gone has just surpassed God of War and The Last Guardian in physical sales. I believe it was just in Japan, but still, that is a big accomplishment because that says that amongst all the bad reviews that this game has been getting, the subpar reviews that this game has been getting, people have still reluctantly went out to go and get this game like you know how much somebody wants to see if a game is bad if you go ahead and still get a game after many people that are quote unquote respected in the journalist community telling you don't get a game like the only game that I remember in recent history that got this bad of reviews and nobody really messed with it was the Order 1886. Oh no! That's not good, man. That's not good. And I'm out of weapons. Well, not exactly. Back up. Got me. I was trying to do a different command and I ended up pressing the wrong one. I was trying to do my slow motion and I could have got a couple headshots. But the main thing is... Oh, they gave me that... Three out of six clear infestation. That's nice. Okay, so I don't even got to worry about that. But I really want to find... Oh, 
really need to find. Let's turn this light off. I really want to find some heels. I wonder if this make any noise. But yeah, so far I've been doing my game design bachelor's degree with Full Sail University. And I'm already through my second week of classes and it's talking about creative presentation and what really makes a good presentation and how oh, presentations have been presented yeah, the kind of place for so many call. years and yeah. people sitting in front of a PowerPoint and dealing with somebody talking at them and providing no value to the viewer or the audience. <laughs> Uh, is there another clip over this way? No, I already took care of that. See, that's the main thing, is I'm trying to do this blind, and I have not even played this on my own personal playthrough. So whenever I'm playing this, I'm playing it with you guys for the first time. Woo! <laughs> Mm -hmm. Take these. Nice. Aha! Uh -huh. I don't know when they're gonna recover. But see, only having one shot. That is the bad thing about this. It's like a one hit kill mod or something. There's nothing respawning. And I heard that they did an update for a bug that was bothering a lot of people, but I have yet to uncover any bugs. Yeah, scrap. I don't need scrap right now. Anyway. Come on, let's do all these vehicles and see if they provide anything. Nothing in here. All right, that's out of the mission area. And I like how it auto saves. There ain't nothing in here. And that's the thing with certain games is like the game mechanics are so diverse, but they also translate for other things in other games that I'm currently trying to play Dark Cloud 2 from the beginning again just because I want to 100% complete it and I was going to do a walkthrough of that once I actually uncover everything that needs to be uncovered in the game because every time I watch a 100% walkthrough I find something new that I did not get and that's crazy that some things don't even translate to trophies half the time Ugh. Bounty. This did a makeover of her oh, warehouse. Yeah, it looks like the kind of place you want to call home, yeah. I am not having the best of time with the yeah. camera rotations today. Oh. Yeah, fall down. They need a lock on. Oh, how did I Almost miss out. that? Let me go on in here and look. God damn it, what you all shit yourself at once? <laughs> Jesus Christ. hope in there so i need to go in there until tonight be fewer freaks inside those nests so i've got a molotov and i'm gonna throw that 
more bounties. God damn it, what you all shit yourself at once? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's not enough. <laughs> burn. <laughs> yeah, burn to hell. Oh, goddamn freaks. What the hell are you doing in here? Huh? Thing I can use. This place is a death trap. I'm legit trying to find some heals. Okay, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Oh, I gotta burn this. Yeah, it looks like the kind of place you want to call. Yeah. Ooh. No, no, you don't. I'm gonna get you sealed up. Yeah. Is there a ripper in here? Oh, ain't you getting something out of this? gonna help me heal. I am like literally no help right now. I just need two more to burn and then I'm done with this. Forever. I wonder if I can push one of those crates around. Does that uncover anything once I burn it? Yes. Nest residue. I don't just need the nest residue. I need some kerosene and a bottle. So. I wonder if I can push these around. Nope. Never do anything with those. I'm wasting daylight too. That's another thing. Hmm. Can I create fire arrows yet? Residue bolt. Nothing to do with that. I'm like another gas can or something. Who heard me? You did? Come on. Come on. Okay. I'm not trying to get whacked up the side of the head again. Because that can easily happen. And I've been told by some of my viewers that I've missed stuff and I've seen things that I just went past. And, you know, I'm trying to pay attention to all of that. But as you're playing and trying not to die at the same time, a lot of things can go past your head. I pretty much feel that I cleaned up this entire place. And I don't want to be stuck on a side mission that is still a story mission for multiple episodes. That's worse than like Dragon Ball Z. Then this becomes a filler. 
only up to carry fire in like a lantern or something and I just throw it on to things. I wonder if there's something in here I could open. Nothing. Mm, let's open this up. Can we open it up? Nope. I wanted to bring my bike in there and try to shoot the gas can, but that wouldn't be efficient. That would be kind of stupid if they allowed us to do that. So, with things like this, I'm kind of confused. They want you to leave and come back if you don't have what you're looking for and then try again. It says keep out, but I don't listen. Oh, they got things. Uh, murdering drifter them. camp. I've seen these assholes before, and I gotta take them out. Ooh. Here's a heal. <laughs> that is something I could use. Ask, and you shall receive. This is an ambush camp. They gotta have a lot of supplies. What the hell is that sound? Hmm. Yep. So I need it and a gas can. Fuel. That's can. gonna take care of the mission. See? Not so bit not so bad. And I can last more than one hit now against these freakers, so. I'm not worried. Let's go back in the middle of that house. I have a full tank of gas already, so I don't need to worry about my bike. So I can shoot up the gas once. That sounded so bad. Shoot up the gas once. Oh, I still didn't have enough to actually make a Molotov with just what I found. Box of nails and sterilizer. Getting turned around here. Where is it? It's not giving me an identifier on the list here. Did it go away because I went too far away? Let's see. Clear out those nests. This is an actual storyline. I wonder why. Oh, okay, here. Yeah. Daytime now, so this should be a lot easier. Absolutely nowhere. And before I realized that he was there, it was too late. Wow. And I lost the gas can. Or did it just fall where it initially was? That's what they talk about when they say that the game is ever changing. It's always different because that wolf literally spawned right behind me. 
Oh, warehouse. Yeah, it looks like the kind of place you want to call home, yeah. Literally spawned right behind me. There was nothing else in there. And I heard it. But see, now I gotta go back to that camp. I'm gonna stop editing stuff out because I think that this is funny. I think this is super funny and that this will bring a method to my madness because I'm sure somebody else plays this way. And if you run around in circles a million times until you understand something without looking at fact guides and tutorials, let me know because I hate looking at reviews or tutorials that give away something. Don't run. Not work. A lot of ammo left. One of the camps can use this. Um, oh, I was about to say, there's not a fuel can in there right now. I got a use for you, but they do got bandages. Four bandages. That is what I need. Oh, <laughs> man, they got another one right here. If you will count. Maybe I should go a little bit more into the spot to see. What else is there? I'm kind of going in there on an empty playing field. But hey, you only live once, right? Sat there and looked at me. Yeah. Okay. Let's crawl under there. Bunch of murdering assholes can't let any of them get out of here alive. Part of the story that we go and attack another ambush camp. A low block. Oh, I had absolutely nothing, so I would have to stealth kill this entire camp. I've got one book. Make it count. Knowing me, I'm probably not going to make it count. And see, I've never marked an enemy, so I kind of want to see... Oh, 
Sensitivities rather high. Yep. Okay. Okay, so now I got some good ammo. And Way better off doing all of this. You okay. I got you. I got you. Oh. Kidding me. I was doing the best I possibly could right then. Wow. And this is on hard mode. Okay. So I want to clear out those nests, but all I really came in there for. I gotta kill them all. Every last one of these murderers, sure. sons of bitches. <laughs> that I can really take down without crouching. I think I have to throw it. Without them noticing These ambush camps, without the exception of the first one, I believe was optional. So, do that stealth kill, get out of there, and then you don't. That would have been so OP if they would have gave me everything that I received when I did that. So, let's go ahead. I can pretty much. Hey! Hey! Okay, take you out. <laughs> that looked like one of the designers. Oh, down. There you go. Let's do this. I didn't want to do this. 
Something's here. <laughs> nope, I'm gonna go find out though. Send you out. <laughs> You're not even prepared to go around. You ambush down there, Shots for the price of one, I would have been wild. Once I'm running and gunning. Oh, they brought snipers. Cool lord. That's cute, because I'm I can see you too. Yeah, what else I can see? You're gone. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is reckless and I don't survive nobody's. I don't want to do this. Nobody at all. And I just want to also highlight how I missed where that sniper is. Oh, scrap. You just want to talk. Your sign on the front said you shoot first and ask questions later is what the other part of that is what I'm assuming. So I don't want to talk to you. Y'all ain't gonna be bringing up nothing of fruitfulness. I, I want to find where you guys are so I can talk with my gun. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, is that Maybe what I think it is? Oh! I see you running around. <laughs> Cover and fire. Yeah, you do. Come on, there move. we go. I'm moving. Get back here. No. no. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that bitch? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Over here. Moving back. Fall it back. Cover me. Ah! This person I was all I'm trying to do. Oh, there you go. Gotcha. 
Yeah, keep on running around. <laughs> Okay, one left. There's one more. Where? Probably the sniper. Okay. Why can't I pick this up? <laughs> and that sniper will be the one to kill me, and I will be upset. That's it. Roads will be a little safer now. I mean, not much, but a little. All right, where did you hide your bunker, huh? I know you got one. Yes, and now I can craft two. That's all I need. Boom. So where's the bunker? This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It's the Wild West again, right and some men are acting like law and order are a thing of the past. But last I checked, this is still the United States of America. And in America, the right of property shall not be infringed. We have the right to claim territory, to hold it, and to defend it. Sure, we took this land from the Indians. No point in rewriting history. But we took it by force. And force is the only thing that will move us now. We're not going to roll over for a bunch of bullies. If the feds or rippers or marau... Hey, I finally completed the ambush camp. Stamina cards here. Think I they're like going to come rolling into my wilderness? <laughs> they got another thing. So now we're going to select a new skill. And I needed to go for range combat. I'm sorry. So now we already have that equipped focus shot. So now I want to move and aim. Be able to handle that. Hold L2 and tap R2 while moving with L. Steadies the weapon's reticle for easier aiming and reduces reticle speed while aiming with L2. That's nice. So the next available we uh, weapon upgrades that we can do for ranged is suppressing fire, hyper focus, and reduce the cooldown of focus. All right, we we become the strongest so survive, so the strongest take, and goes. the strongest will succeed. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. That looks a lot better. One sidearm available. Uh, fill ammo for it. Yes. Purchase. That's something Cope Law and Order are a thing of the past. What the hell are you talking about? But yeah, you got a point about force being the only thing that matters now. Force and a lot of goddamn ammo. Alright, so now we can head back to that mission that we need to go to. And take care of everything. 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 Just in case we need a little bit more yeah, assistance, you are by Probably gonna have to do it over. Yep.
that you guys are gonna get an hour long video because it's Friday today. No, 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 go back. Oh, he doesn't need to bring it He's kicking it with his feet back and forth. Ugh. I want that to go along the other side. Push, push, we push to the other side. I really wanted the gas to go. I got two bottles of cocktails. Hey. That would have been nice if that would have cleared up the path, but they're like meant to be stuck in there. And I got another bad can right here, so I'm okay. I don't need two. It's a little bit of security or nothing. Just in case. So, Microsoft and Sony are talking about joining forces on cloud-based services using Microsoft Azure, and they're saying that Sony is going to be using Microsoft Azure for future endeavors, and oh, we're wondering, out. is yeah, that the kind of place you want to call home, yeah. for the PlayStation 5, perhaps? The world may never know. Those nests should be less freaks on the mountain from now on. Hey, Deke, how'd it go? Were there, were there a lot of them? Yeah, but I wanted to clear them while it was still light out. You know how the sunlight bothers them. Yeah, that's, that's probably the way to do it. Guess I'm shut up. All right, so now we're going to do it for our next mission. Next time, chapter eight, but I'm going to get in the position for it. So that way, it'll be beginning right off the And we need another fight I personally don't And this will probably be the first episode I don't run out of yet. Oh, you got 
in real life this would be a challenge. One thing where there's a redemption is I don't know if cinematic mode. I could feel a cinematic mode with this I gotta finish burning out this infestation zone. Not this time. Squatters, you're the assholes who tried to ambush me. This is my first time experiencing bugs like this. How many years is it gonna take before all of this is finally gone? This refugee camp, yeah. We all would have been better off out of the shit. Nero couldn't protect you from a goddamn thing. Okay, here we go. 
Uh, it doesn't look too bad. Now I can fill up the gas tank and that'll be the end of this video. Tune in next time where I go through this neuro camp and try not to die and most importantly, try not to be terrible at days gone. I thank you for watching the Devout Joystick and I will see you in the next episode. Good. Peace. Throw this over here and set this on fire. What Ice Cube say? Ever, oh, please. No. Nah.